चेन्नई सेंट्रल लोकसभा सीट पर इस बार मुकाबला कांटे का हो सकता है डीएमके के प्रत्याशी और कद्दावर नेता दयानिधि मारन के सामने बीजेपी ने एक युवा चेहरे को मैदान में उतारा है विनोज पी सेल्वम हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं विनोज बहुत चैलेंजिंग सीट आपने एक्सेप्ट की है ऐसा सुनने में आ रहा है कि पूरा तंत्र जो है पूरा सिस्टम डीएमके का दयानिधि मारन की जीत के लिए आ, काम कर रहा है आप और भी कोई सीट आसान सीट ले सकते थे लेकिन आपने चेन्नई सेंट्रल लोकसभा सीट को क्यों चुना सर फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू एड्रेस दस इन हिंदी but unfortunately tamil nadu has been ruled by these dravidian parties for several years now the basic of the dravidian parties is to divide people based on three aspects one is religion one is second is region third is language so because of these language barriers they created people in tamil nadu could not learn a third language let it be hindi let it be urdu let it be kannada let it be any language they were never able to learn a third language now we are thankful that the honorable prime minister has brought a new education policy and we are hopeful that our students in the future will be able to learn many languages and speak in several languages fluently now coming to your question um shri narendra modi has been dedicating himself to the nation especially to uh, the people of tamil nadu and the tamil language he has been time and above uh, giving so much importance he has visited tamil nadu over like over uh, seven times over the last one month that is the amount of commitment he has to the people of tamil nadu as karyakartas of bjp we think it is our duty to win the seat for him because central chennai being the heart of the city and chennai being the capital of tamil nadu has not seen any sort of development as a society as a society the people have had no sort of development over the last 30 40 years 40 years back a family if had moved into a particular slum is still living the same slum their life has not changed their forefathers lived there their fathers lived there today the sons are living in the same place so the basic duty of a member of the parliament is to ensure that the society thrives as a whole shri narendra modi has been instrumental in bringing people out of poverty all across the country but unfortunately the central government schemes the funds are not being utilized essentially for example a product which is valuable for 50 rupees is being sold at 500 using tenders by the state government so they beefing up the prices they are increasing their profits they are emptying the coffers ultimately the person who is suffering is the common man the common man is not getting what he is supposed to be getting so i think it is time things change people need governance there is lack of governance in tamil nadu and we are seeing the 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 model of bjp all across people are seeing the model of bjp all across the country where they are promising development and not divisiveness and based on that today we are contesting here we don't see any opponent as a as a jambavan or as a as a big opponent he is just another opponent for us whoever it is however strong he may be in their party to us we are back by shri narendra modi we believe in narendra modi people of this constituency believe in the modi guarantee based on that we are taking on this election aap ye keh rahe hain ki modi ji ka jo acceptance level hai tamil nadu mein uske bare mein aap hame bataiye jab aap chahte hain kyunki humne suna hai dekha bhi hai jab hum elections cover karte hain ki log bjp ko north india ki party bolte hain outsider party bolte hain wo jo perception hai आप जब लोगों से मिलते हैं आप कैंपेन करते हैं तो वो परसेप्शन बदल रहा है लोग एक्सेप्ट कर रहे हैं बीजेपी को आपको लगता है सी दिस इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू इन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट द डिवाइस ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स इज बेस्ड वन ऑन लैंग्वेज सेकंड ऑन रीजन सो व्हिच पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री आई यू इन आफ्टर दिस 10 इयर्स ऑफ बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया people in tamil nadu are again feeling this the, the, the nationalist feeling is coming back to the minds i'm not saying everyone was like that but there was a major section who were made to believe that you know we don't belong to the mainstream of the country they were trying to instill a pride which was against the interest of the nation so bjp believes in unity bjp believes in the unite unity of our country of our people and today that feeling has started to come into all the minds of the people of tamil nadu they feel we need to fight together as a nation competitiveness can be amongst the state but divisiveness saying that we are not a part of india is not acceptable i am tamil 100% tamil as much as i am tamil i am 100% indian so i believe in being both tamil and indian 
now that feeling is becoming common amongst the people of tamil nadu so the uh, the, the dmk and uh, the students of dmk cannot fool people anymore by saying you know this is this party that party bjp is a party for all bjp is a party for all regions bjp is a party for all religions bjp believes in the importance of mother tongue that is in fact the ideology of rss is to say preach your mother tongue learn your mother tongue respect your mother tongue so all the languages are important to us so there is no divisiveness in this we believe in diversity we believe in unity and across the state in 2019 the dmk was very successful in setting a narrative that the bjp uh, is against the interest of tamils but the prime minister has time and above proven them wrong the pm never spoke great about tamil when he came to tamil nadu but he spoke great about tamil when he went to the un he quoted kani and poongundra in the united nations he released the tirukkural in 43 languages all across the world forget indian languages it's been released in thai it has been released in japanese it was released in papua new guinea so all across the world the prime minister is making our language more and more popular he insists about how we are the oldest language so we take a lot of pride in our prime minister so people of tamil nadu are taking pride in our prime minister they don't see him as a bjp prime minister people believe that he's our prime minister people's prime minister so things have changed the acceptance is huge people want a representative of sri narendra modi to come and govern them now ek aapko lagta hai sir ki ye ladai jo hai wo parivarwad ke khilaf bhi hai kyunki aap jis कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट को कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं वहाँ पर उदयनिधि स्टालिन जो हैं एमएलए हैं दयानिधि मारन वहाँ के एमपी हैं और भी कई सारे लोग हैं जो स्टालिन के बहुत करीबी हैं आपने हार्बर से शेखर बाबू को चैलेंज भी किया था 21 में तो क्या लगता है आपको ये जो लड़ाई आपकी है वो डायनेस्टिक पॉलिटिक्स के खिलाफ है इस ये चीज़ आप लोगों तक लेकर जा रहे हैं क्या उसमें आप सक्सेसफुल हो पा रहे हैं वन रीज़न आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ कंटेस्टिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी बिकॉज the prime minister is very very strong against this dynastic politics he is a man who stands opposite to the dynastic politics he wants to uh, eradicate dynastic politics from india in that sense this particular seat central chennai it is the epitome of dynastic politics the sion of dmk udayan stalin as you rightly said is an mla in this constituency she mk stalin lives in this constituency the head office of dmk arivaliam which is the uh, uh, head office of dynastic politics is in this constituency uh, dayanandi maran who's also from the same family is the mp from this constituency so by beating dayanandi maran in this constituency we would have taken the first step in beating dynastic politics in tamil nadu so i think it is very important that we score a victory here the people are fed up the people are fed up that you know one family is enriching themselves at the cost of people at the cost of their development one family and their friends are becoming richer and richer but the people they remain the same every election they being bought out with money they being taken care with just basics like uh, food and rice and dal but that is not development that is essentials we are feeding them for their hunger bjp wants to see them grow bjp wants to see them have a better life bjp wants them their children to have a better future so all this put together we are very sure that we will be able to strongly fight the dynastic politics we don't care about the might your muscle power your money power beyond all that again we saying we are foot warriors of narendra modi and we have the blessing of sri narendra modi so we are ready to take the fight to this family and we will teach them a lesson jab aapko ye kaha jata hai sir ki bjp jo hai wo at distance 3 hai the number 3 ki party hai yahan par jo ladai hai wo ai dmk aur dmk ke beech mein hai आप क्या जवाब देना चाहेंगे ऐसे लोगों को जो कहते हैं कि बीजेपी हमारे लिए कोई चैलेंजर नहीं है कोई फाइटर नहीं सी देर वॉज अ पॉइंट इफ यू टेक टू ईयर्स बैक ऑल दीज पार्टी यूज टू से वेर इज बीजेपी हु इज बीजेपी हु नोज बीजेपी बट टूडे इन तमिलनाडु देर इज नो पॉलिटिक्स विदाउट इन्वॉल्विंग बीजेपी लेट इट बी डी एम के लेट इट बी ए डी एम के दे हैव टू टॉक अबाउट बीजेपी टू स्टे इन द लाइम लाइट फॉर दैम सो देर आर नो रियल इश्यूज विच दे स्पीक अबाउट देर इज नथिंग दे कैन बोस्ट अबाउट they are scared of the bjp they are scared of the growth of bjp they are scared of the acceptance of bjp whatever they said about bjp has been made uh, false now for example the strength of bjp at the booth level in tamil nadu is immense there are over 67 68000 booths in tamil nadu and every booth has a bjp worker today dedicated committed workers who don't work for 500 rupees or who don't work for biryani 
these are workers who work for the nation these are workers who work for our prime minister these are workers who work for the people of the state and the country so <clears throat> with this sort of a workforce this election will teach a lesson to these parties who made a mockery of bjp that bjp is here to stay we are here to win and we are here to rule and we are here to make the people's lives better in the coming days tamil nadu is again going to shine chennai is going to become a better city chennai was always on you know one of the top 3 cities in the country uh, it is it is sad that today we are lagging behind to several cities in the in the south of india and in the north because of uh, better governance there so you know chennai as a city has great potential we have great uh, manpower we have great minds um, we have a, a a lot of uh, advantages to become the best city in the country so we are going to thrive for that this is competitiveness so this competitiveness will push us this is what a prime minister has taught us and we are very sure that we should be able to make a difference aapne kaha ki bjp ki jo jade hain jo groot hai wo bahut mazboot hua hai kya iska credit anna malai ko diya jana chahiye as a party president anna malai ko aap kaise judge karte hain shanna malai has been a revolutionary as a leader he has brought a lot of uh, a positive aura into the minds of the karyakartas at the same time over the last 40 years i worked under four state presidents every state president had a certain uh, level of contribution their commitment has been immense let it be uh, shri tamil sai sundarajan or shri el murugan or uh, shri pon radhakrishnan all of them uh, from their side have really committed themselves to the party they have told when the party was um, uh, not accepted like you rightly said we, when they were labeled as a north indian party they still toiled uh, all the way and they they ensured that the party had a, a good reach Uh, after she anamala is uh, coming to the party post 2021 the attack on this dravidian party is on the fake ideologies of the dravidian party has been more direct more immense uh, more intense and this intensity is what has made people uh, take a liking to shri anamala she has is definitely uh, created a, a big positivity uh, amongst the karyakartas of bjp the people are fired up the youngsters like him <laughs> yeah he 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 is the uh, um, he has been the captain he is the captain of the ship uh, just like our dhoni led the, the indian team to a world cup victory um, we are very sure that uh, under namalai's uh, captaincy um, we are all going to have a great sweet victory in this coming 2024 parliament elections ek aakhri sawal ye bhi puchunga sir ki dm ka ka ye kehna hai ki jis tarah ka welfare scheme yahan par state pe chal raha hai chahe wo 1000 rupaye वन थाउजेंड रुपीज़ वुमेंस को देने की बात हो उसका जो एक्सेप्टेंस है उसका जो अट्रैक्शन है अमंग पीपल स्पेशली जो डाउन ट्रॉडन क्लासेस हैं वहाँ पर बहुत ज़्यादा है इस वजह से वो ये कह रहे हैं कि जो ड्रविडियन मॉडल ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स है वो जो है यहाँ पर प्रिवेल करेगा यहाँ पर बीजेपी के लिए कोई जगह नहीं है उसका एक आखिरी जवाब आपसे चाहिए ड्रविडियन पॉलिटिक्स इज ऑल अबाउट अट्रैक्टिवनेस देर इज नो सब्सटेंस इन इट people need substance development needs substance not just attractiveness these freebies free schemes what is tamil nadu's debt today we are one of the most uh, uh, one of the states with the highest amount of debt to uh, world banks or to international banks or to the central government we just keep borrowing 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 we keep borrowing into freebies but we are not growing as a state on every head of a citizen in tamil nadu there is so much debt we are all owing a debt even if i have not borrowed from a bank i still owe a debt because being a person from tamil nadu i owe to the uh, union government i owe debt to the world banks i owe to uh, to all the debtors who have uh, lent money to the state so this is not a uh, this is not a uh, good model of governance this is not what the state needs so what i'm saying is why do you have to keep giving freebies to people why can't you uplift them from poverty you have been ruling for the last 40 years 50 years so in 40 50 years if you cannot uplift people from poverty if a same person who's been living in a slum for the last 40 years lives in the same slum then what sort of development are you talking about is this your dravidian model so your dravidian model is false your dravidian model is a model which only enriches you and your family it doesn't take care of the poor people it is only freebies 1000 rupees and even then many of the promises made many of the promises over about 550 promises were made by shri mk stalin in 2021 assembly elections not even 200 over 3 years have been fulfilled where is the price cut on the uh, fuel what taxes have you reduced on the uh, fuel which is being uh, uh, sold in tamil nadu on the petrol and diesel today you are coming out again and saying you are going to slash um, huge money on the cylinders you not even kept one promise of yours where are you going to keep your next promise what happened to banning neat Uday is still went around saying he knows the secret to banning it. Where is the secret? It's been three years. Why are you not revealing it? What are you waiting for? One more election? So uh, uh, people have started to question them. 
four thousand crores. They said four thousand crores was spent on Chennai to make sure that the water drains are being kept, pro- the storm water drains are being kept proper, and people will not suffer. Two days of rain, the water, the city went underwater. People were stuck in the houses for seven days. There was no power. There was no food. Milk was cut short for the first time, I think, in Chennai's history. Even in 2015, when the floods were worse than this, there was no shortage of milk. Milk was being supplied. But in 2023, milk supply was cut. These are all fresh in the people's minds. People are thinking about. People have not forgotten the kind of agony and the frustration they went to, went through for almost six, seven days without power, without food, their children. It was a horrific experience. And uh, rem- remember, BJP was the only party which was on the field when uh, the councillors and the MLAs of DMK were reluctant to put their foot in the water. Um, BJP's foot soldiers were on the field, walking through the water, serving people, setting up kitchens, taking care of the people's interests and needs. Uh, that is essential. But BJP is not going to believe in this freebie culture. We want to provide. We want to bring like a Navodhya school. Uh, to Tamil Nadu, Navodhya, uh, Tamil Nadu is the only state which does not have Navodhya schools. So we want to bring Navodhya schools. We want to bring more aims like hospitals. We want to have IAMs in Tamil Nadu. So this needs a state and centre cooperation. But the state is not cooperating because the state is not bothered about these people. The state wants to keep them poor because only when you keep them poor, they vote for you. Once people start developing, once people start thinking, they will not vote for these people. So they have been keeping these poor people under poverty so they can take care of them from election to election and get their votes. This has to change. It has to change. This is unfair to them. And we are not going to accept this sort of politics. Sir, and the question has come to mind because the political analysis of Tamil Nadu is saying that AIDM is not possible without coalition. BJP is survival of BJP. Do you think that if you have a coalition with AIDM, you could have a better result than Tamil Nadu? Yes, it is better than Tamil Nadu. See, I will not deny that the result would have been better simply because uh, today the frustration against DMK is immense. People want DMK out. So when the opposition was united, when the opposition was united in throwing DMK away, then definitely the result would have been better for both the parties. Today, the uh, opposition vote will have a slight shift you know it will not be a hundred percent for the nda uh, there will be a certain because you know i'm not going to dismiss the admk they have been a strong party they have ruled the state for more years than any political party so uh, whatever it is they might have a they still have a little loyal vote base which will go to them the neutral voters the fence sitters they are all with bjp today the people who are uh, not aligned to any political party or movement they are all with the bjp today many admk carders have all shifted to bjp today but admk still has a certain vote bank so that could be uh, making a big difference in this election so that could be a reason why we were, might not be able to win as many seats as we wanted to otherwise this would have been a 39 out of 39 perfect sweep for tamil nadu there was no chance dmk was be, going to be able to win one seat in tamil nadu if that had happened but god has different plans this is better for the bjp in the long run we have more acceptance now the lotus is contesting in the highest number of seats after like almost 30 years we are happy that you know even example for example in the central chennai seat the lotus is contesting after 25 long years so people have been waiting for 25 years to press their finger on the lotus and today they are going to have an opportunity so we are happy in, uh, in our own ways that we are, our, our road bank is going to increase our vote share is going to increase cards are going to get more charged up, charged up and bjp is spreading its wings all throughout the state of tamil nadu आखिरी सवाल सर क्या ये युवा चेहरा ये यंग फेस एक जाइंट किलर को एक जाइंट किलर बनेगा इस चुनाव में आपको लगता है विल यू बी अ जाइंट किलर दिस इलेक्शन आई टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डोंट सी एम एस अ जाइंट ही इज अ मैन हु लूटेड द गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज हु यूज बी एस एन एल टू एनरिच हिमसेल्फ ही इज अ मैन वेन द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ सेंट्रल चेन्नई वर फ्लडेड एंड पीपल वर सफरिंग decided to stay on the first floor of his palatial house in boat club and not step down because his food a foot will get dirty in the water he is a man who i've never seen his shirt get crumbled because it's tucked in and he's perfectly uh, um, you know trim and neat all the time i don't see him as any giant in politics he is in politics only because he's so and so son and he's so and so's nephew and he's so and so's cousin apart from that i don't see him as a person who's here to serve the people so he's no giant to me is just another opponent i have several opponents he's one of them just like one of the independent candidates i see him that's how i'm going to face this election i'm again telling you we're back by shri narendra modi is the only giant in the indian politics today so uh, with that i would say that we are uh, we are ready we're looking forward and we will give a good fight to dmk thank you sir